joke. This morning, Tesla is the biggest trend. According to Yahoo Finance's pre-market ticker, shares increased somewhat, or by about 7-8%. to The company's fourth quarter delivery results exceeded analysts' forecasts, which led to the raise. Prostuber continues to be present, sitting at the table with us. PR, a lot of people had questions about Tesla's ability to fulfill its quarterly and annual targets, but it seems like this was enough to get it there. But in terms of delivery, the numbers are currently just about crossing. 484,000 during the quarter surpassed Bloomberg's estimated 483,000. In terms of production, 482,000 automobiles were beaten out by 494,000 or nearly 495,000 vehicles. During the quarter, they produced a large number of Model 3s and Model Ys. You can't tell where they're created because they don't break out regionally, but there are undoubtedly more in China, the US, and Vermont. For clarification and context, let me say that the 1.81 million cars sold globally this year, 38% more than the previous year, is not even close to the 50% compound annual growth mark, which we knew would not be reached due to factory closures and adjustments. Nobody is actually posing as though they are from China's busy streets. Come along as we investigate the mystery surrounding Tesla's recent global performance. Will the Model 3 overtake the Model Y as the product that captures consumers' attention? What mysteries do the latest analyst insights on Tesla's future reveal? A tornado of conjecture is sparked by whispers and projections. Fasten your seatbelts and get ready for an exhilarating journey into the core of the Tesla world, where new discoveries and insights appear around every corner and inspire seemingly endless possibilities. But before continuing and clicking the subscribe button, make sure you press the like button. Here's where the cutting edge of Tesla stock news meets curiosity. Now let's go into our exciting analysis of Tesla's turbulent past. Now that interest rates appear to be peaking in front of three rate reductions in 2024, Tesla and the stock market as a whole have benefited from this week's events. The stock market has already reacted positively to this segment, during which we also talked about some concerns and some fascinating data from Europe and China. We'll also discuss some intriguing discoveries from the two analyst notes we got this week. We'll concentrate on the Optimus version 2 going forward, which is an interesting development to keep an eye out for in 2024. A recent update indicates that 15,400 Tesla cars are already insured in China. This number, which is up 20% from the previous quarter and a remarkable 34% from year ago, shows Tesla's noteworthy growth trajectory in the Chinese market. These figures are especially remarkable, considering how fiercely competitive and quickly changing the Chinese car industry is, particularly in the area of electric vehicles. It's crucial to recognize a minor decline from the figures from the prior week. Tesla is still on track to smash records for sales in China this quarter, even with this little decline. This consistent growth, despite weekly variations, highlights the robust demand for Tesla automobiles in the Chinese market. A closer examination of the data shows that a decline in Model Y deliveries is the main cause of the weekly figure's decline. Consumer preference for Tesla's little electric SUV, the Model Y, has been strong, but supply chain dynamics, market demand, and manufacturing changes are just a few of the variables that can cause these kinds of swings in the automotive sector. However, the overall increase in Tesla's insured numbers for the Model 3 in China is a sign of the company's growing presence in one of the world's biggest markets for electric vehicles. Tesla's endeavors to augment production capacity, refine its supply chain, and adjust to regional market inclinations bolster this expansion. The Model 3's steady success suggests that it maintains a solid market position and consumer appeal. Since the Model 3 is sometimes seen as a gateway vehicle for buyers to experience the Tesla brand and electric automobiles in general, this stability is critical for Tesla. In addition, Tesla's growth in China is significant given the company's global sales figures and the expanding acceptance and allure of electric vehicles in China. This trend is being aided by the Chinese government's promotion of greener transportation options, which includes subsidies for electric vehicles and infrastructure support.
Indeed, the data also shows Tesla's market share in a number of European nations, including Iceland. According to Tesla's analysis, Giga Shanghai may set a new production record in Q4, with a considerable increase in the ratio of Model Y to Model 3. We may see a rebound in demand for the Model 3 in Norway, Ireland, and Denmark with the update. However, the conditions in Germany, the location of Giga Berlin, a crucial market for Tesla, are difficult. Germany's annual sales figures have not lived up to expectations, even in spite of increases in other countries with higher potential rates. Let's get straight into the solar energy sector, where companies such as Solaridge and NCE Energy are causing a stir. Remarkably, there is a chance that rate reductions in the US and possibly Europe will boost demand for solar panels and cars. Energy shares have seen a sharp increase in price, from roughly $77.00 and 80 cents to roughly $120. This increase reflects the forward-looking nature of the stock market, which is pricing in potential rate reductions, leading us to focus on the analyst environment. Ronald increased his price estimate for Tesla from $125 to $130, but he remains wary of the company. This action is noteworthy because it reflects a careful evaluation of Tesla's prospective market performance going forward. Ronald is rated by Tepranks, a website that grades financial experts according to their performance 6,597 out of 8,636 Wall Street analysts. Even though he is not one of the best analysts, it is crucial to take his reputation and analytical background into account. Ronald's average return on company recommendations, which is 7.2%, is respectable in the complex and unpredictable world of stock market forecasting. This average return provides a baseline against which to evaluate his research of Tesla and serves as a comprehensive measure of how profitable and accurate his previous stock recommendations were. Despite the cost target upgrade, Ronald's cautious demeanor suggests that he is confident in Tesla's future potential, but also aware of the challenges and uncertainties the company faces. This can be the result of several factors affecting Tesla's business practices. Technical advancements, market competitiveness, and general economic conditions are all taken into account in the field of investment analysis. Ronald is not the only person in the financial community with this viewpoint. A variety of studies and viewpoints, including Ronald's, should be taken into consideration by investors who want a comprehensive knowledge of Tesla's stock possibilities. Diverse forecasts and opinions are typical for viewers who want to get deeper into the nuances of Ronald's research. These reflect the various perspectives, methods, and information sources that analysts utilize. Pausing the video and seeing his complete review could be beneficial. In-depth explanations of the cost insights into Tesla's business practices about target changes, market position, and potential risks and opportunities that could impact the company's stock price in the interim are likely included in his research. In recent weeks, Morgan Stanley's Adam Jonas has shared his insights on Tesla in a number of memos he has published. According to the author, Tesla is spearheading a technological revolution, drawing parallels with the diverse range of organisms that existed over 500 million years ago during the Cambrian explosion. The Optimus V2 robot is the main subject of the author's discussion on Tesla's accomplishments in AI and robotics. This demonstrates how quickly Tesla's Optimus V2 has developed from its original release to its most recent version. The robot has extremely smart hands and fingers, but Elon Musk tends to estimate optimistic timelines. There are countless applications for a robot like this. Imagine a machine that can perform simple household tasks like folding clothes in addition to more difficult ones. What's going to really alter things, though, is the Optimus robot's practical effectiveness. Demand from a range of businesses might be quite high if Tesla can demonstrate how helpful it is in practical scenarios. What effects will this technological advancement have on jobs and societal structures? The conversation about future job trends and universal basic income becomes more relevant in this context. Let's talk about Tesla's arrival in Mexico as well. Jega Mexico has secured a substantial incentive package valued approximately at $153 million. 
The state of Nevada is supporting the development of essential infrastructure, like roads and water treatment facilities, as well as lowering payroll taxes. However, the actual date of construction's commencement is currently uncertain. According to a statement from Tesla, the federal $7,500 tax credit for Model 3 long-range and rear-wheel drive vehicles delivered later this year is coming to an end. It makes for some intriguing pricing. With the tax incentive removed, the are of concern. Will Tesla decide to increase the price of the revised Model 3 or take a different approach to pricing? This is a unique challenge for Tesla, and it will be interesting to see how they respond to it in the following year. This week's other news included Tesla making headlines for recalling 2 million U.S. cars because of an issue with the autopilot safety feature. It is important to keep in mind that an over-the-air software update, as opposed to a physical recall, was used to solve issue. Let's finally look at Tesla's stock performance. After a tumultuous 2023, Tesla appears to be positioning itself for a prosperous 2024. 2023 has been a year of highs and lows for Tesla, with significant fluctuations in its shares. However, as 2024 draws near, several significant factors suggest that the company may have a prosperous year. Tesla's energy business, which sells solar panels and energy storage products like the Powerwall, Powerpack, and Megapack, is showing promising signs of expansion. Tesla is positioned favorably in the market thanks to this move towards sustainable energy solutions, especially in light of international climate change measures. The Cybertruck is one of several eagerly awaited product debuts that Tesla has planned. Higher adoption rates for Tesla's cutting-edge energy products could result from growing global awareness of and need for renewable energy alternatives. It is expected that production of Tesla's electric pickup truck will start shortly. With its unique look and practicality, the Cybertruck should be able to take advantage of a significant market niche, especially in the U.S. where pickup trucks are commonly used. Additionally, Tesla's all-electric semi-trucks are about to enter the commercial vehicle market and have the potential to completely transform free transportation by offering a more affordable and environmentally friendly option. Tesla's growth depends on its advancements in artificial intelligence and autonomous driving. The most recent developments in these domains that are expected to be on exhibit at AI Day 2024 are the Optimus robot and enhancements to the complete self-driving software. The adoption of these technologies opens up new markets and revenue streams for Tesla in addition to strengthening its position as the industry leader. The likelihood that interest rates would decline in 2024 might have a significant effect on rising auto sales. Because credit is more readily available when interest rates are lower, consumers usually have more purchasing power. The market for electric cars, which includes Tesla, may benefit greatly from this shift in the economy as more consumers may discover that EVs are affordable. Globally, there is a shift towards electric vehicles due to government measures that promote their use and environmental concerns. Tesla, the leader in the electric vehicle market, will benefit greatly from this development. It also maintains its leadership position in the market thanks to ongoing investments in battery technology infrastructure and software upgrades. Having said that, let's examine Tesla's recent performance in China, where weekly insured numbers increased impressively year over year. Demand for the Model 3 was consistent, whereas there were minor swings for the Model Y. This performance indicates that Tesla is a major player in the market and that interest in electric cars is rising in China. But before we leave, allow me to ask our audience a few questions. What is your interpretation of Tesla's latest market performance in China? Regarding the analyst estimates for Tesla's stock, what are your thoughts? Tell us what you observed. Please don't forget to like and comment below if you think my analysis was interesting and thought-provoking. We are grateful that you watched and hope to see you in our upcoming video. Subscribe to Tesla Market for more in-depth discussions and updates on all things Tesla.